Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationschool.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can import a Micrologix program into CCW for use with um, the Micro 800 line of programmable controllers. And here I am, I'm inside of uh, Connected Components Workbench and if I go over to Tools, you'll see a Micrologix Library Converter. Let's go ahead and open that. Okay, and here it's telling me I need to export my Micrologix 1000 project as a .slc library file in RSLogix 500 and use the Save As to create a library file while checking the export database to Logix format. Okay, I can do that. Now I want to make it clear though, I tried to do this in RSLogix Starter Lite and the license copy of RSLogix Starter and neither of them can do this. Now, the reason is they don't have the ability to do the SLC library export. So you can see that's why they're saying use RSLogix 500 here. So let's go over to uh, my other uh, VM here. And I have, this is the program from PLC Basics, my course uh, teaching users how to use PLCs for the first time. And we're going to go ahead and do a save as. And we're going to go save this and export it. We're going to change it to an SLC. And we're going to export the database to Logix, okay? Just following their instructions here. And we will save it. And I'll just hit OK on all of that. And we're done. So now I need a minute to copy that to the other VM. Be right back. All right, now we're ready to go browse for that file. And that is right there in my convert exported directory, okay? So I'll go ahead and open that up. Um, documentation uses the same name as the uh, program. I kept the name the same there. And what do I want to convert it to? Um, I'm going to choose an L24 QBB. You would choose whatever model you're using. And, uh, you know, it has some other information here. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, click on OK. Now it's going to take it a few seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video here. Okay, now it's done and you can see it replicated everything that was in my Micro 1000 program here. Has all the different files, has all the different routines. They've even created some user-defined function blocks to simulate or emulate things that, uh, you know, that the uh, MicroLogix 1000 did. So, in any case, with that done, let's take a look at our uh, main program here see what that looks like. Okay, so here we see the main program. We can see my comments have come in. You can see my symbols have come in here. And uh, I'm almost ready to go. A lot of other stuff came in with it. But um, for the most part, I'm ready to test now. I download this to a Micro 830 and test it out, make sure it works. And then I should be good to go. And with that, that's how easy it is to import a MicroLogix 1000 program into uh, Connected Components Workbench for use with the Micro 800. Now, if you thought that was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and a like. And if you'd like to help me make more of these videos, please pledge a dollar a month or more over at patreon.com forward slash automation. If you have a question on anything I did, feel free to post it over at theautomationforums.com. And if you know anybody who would like to learn all about programming the Micro 800 line of programmable controllers, including how to connect VFDs to it over Modbus, as well as how to program the Piano View 800 to interface with the Micro 800, then uh, send them over to theautomationschool.com and tell them to check out Nano Basics. It's a full course covering the Micro 800 from soup to nuts. And with that, that's the end of this video. Until next time, peace.